Hi guys, it's Mary and I'm coming to you with a Fritzy story. That's right. And of course, like most Fritzy stories, this goes back to like <laughs> the 80s. <laughs> okay, but in the 80s, wigs were not not as widely ex I mean, they didn't look as good. Okay, but I'm all right, well anyway, this is a wig, of course, and I will link the video to that up there, okay? And you can go check it out and um, all that jazz. But that reminded me, I said in that video that I was gonna tell you the story and I actually had it in the big story book, ideas to tell you, but what a perfect time to come and tell you. And also, in this story, I also want to tell people that you should not be ashamed if you, for any reason whatsoever, are wearing a wig or hair extensions or whatever. This is like commonplace today, guys. I mean, everywhere you go, women are wearing wigs, hair extensions, toppers, hair accessories that, you know, they don't want to dye their hair blue, so they'll put in a blue hair extensions or whatever. Some people actually do dye their hair blue, but <laughs> but some people like me who maybe wanted to have sports on blue locks for the day, but didn't want to actually do that to their hair because it would probably break off and I'm getting there. Um, may wear a, a blue wig, okay? I can do that if I want to. All right, back in the 80s, uh, like I was in my early 20s, that's pretty unusual, you know, unless you have, have gone undergone chemotherapy um, you have alopecia or something like that and if you have either of those two things what a time to be alive right I mean there are so many great wigs out there like this one that I mean my own hair is pulled into this so it looks probably more like my hair this is really easy to make look like my hair because half of it is my hair <laughs> I'm using this wig as a topper. But in any case, it reminded me that I wanted to talk to you guys and tell you this story. And I couldn't think of a way to tell the story without it coming off and hurting some people's feelings. Because there are people out there who have no hair. And they would be like, well, what do you know about it? You have hair. Yes, I do have hair. Um, it's not great glorious hair. I mean, it's not like as much as this hair. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I do. I have, some people say they have thin hair, but they have a lot of it. Well, I have thin hair and not a lot of it. So we're picturing 1980s. Everybody, what was in the 1980s? Big hair, right? All right. Well, me and a few friends, one of whom was supposed to be a hairdresser, decided this night after quite a few Heinegans, that we were needing to perm my hair, okay? So we did. And then we did it again, because it didn't look as curly as I wanted, so we did it again. And well, then it just, I, went, I don't know, I just didn't like the color anymore. Not drunk, okay? If there are children watching, let this be a lesson to you. This is why we don't get drunk, okay? You do stupid things when you get drunk. Some more than others. Anyway. You get a bunch of drunk people together and probably you're gonna really have a mess. So, um, yeah, that's what we did. We permed my hair twice and we colored my hair all in the same night. And when I woke up the next morning, I'm like, oh, my hair was breaking off all over the place. I go to the hairdresser. They had to take all of my hair except for an inch. I had an inch of hair all over in the 80s, back in the days of guys have long, beautiful hair, <laughs> right? Okay, so I managed to, through this hairdresser person who felt so bad, uh, I managed to acquire a wig that was for like chemotherapy people. So it was a pretty good wig. Okay. We're talking sheer hair. Yes, now if you think that hair doesn't matter, you're crazy, okay? I'm telling you, so you can say it all you want to, but the opposite sex is attracted to hair. I know this because I still look the same. If you take all my hair off or you give me long hair, I still look the same, okay? But if I have long hair, men look turn around and look twice. 
they whistle, they ask me out. And this is what was happening with this wig. I put the wig on, I'm like, and in the 80s, yeah. Today, you'd be like, girl, you need a haircut. <laughs> Cut off some of them girls, straighten that out. <laughs> but back in the 80s, that was, yes, ma'am. Okay, so that was what was going on. I was wearing the wig and now all of a sudden, yes, I was a pretty girl in, in my 20s. And I did got my fair share of attention. And we go out partying and I wasn't, my dad's card was always full. Okay, but put that wig on me, now I'm the hottest chick at the bar. <laughs> okay, at the gas station. I'm the hottest chick at the gas station. <laughs> All right, anyway, so, um, yeah, I fell in love with the wig. Wanted to wear the wig all the time, and I did. Uh, and my family hated it because sometimes I was still inebriated and I wouldn't, you know, I had fling your head all around in, in a wig that's really curly and see how mad it gets. <laughs> I wouldn't comb it out properly. <laughs> then I'd be showing up at the zoo <laughs> or something for a family function looking like, no, no. Oh. anyway, <laughs> so uh, I had this wig and I loved wearing it. People thought I was just so gorgeous. So I have experience with knowing about wigs since my 20s. Uh, I got, you know, I got out of it. That wig got destroyed. Um, I think I actually accidentally lit a cigarette and set it on fire one night. <laughs> Your hair's on fire. <laughs> and I had to give it up, and so I had short hair for a little while. But then the punky hair came in, so I was good. Uh, but I used to love to go, one of my favorite things to do was rip this thing off in front of people, right? I would go uh, sit in a hairdresser's chair in it after I had it all combed out and looking nice, and I just plopped down in there and be like, uh, just leave me an inch, just take it all off. And they'd be like, what? And then I'd rip it off. I got in a wreck once, and my head went into the windshield, and there was hair, there was glass all through the wig, but it protected my head, actually. So when I went to the ER, the girl was like trying to take the glass out of my head and wondering why is, first of all, why is she bleeding? You know? Oh, well, here, hang on, and pull the wig out, shake it out, glass is going everywhere. They appreciated that a lot. Um... Then, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, oh, I used to love to do this. I would go to a pull up at a stoplight, right? So you'd be like, oh, stoplight, looking all sexy in your hair. The guy next to you, he's like flirting with you, and you're like, when the light changes, though, pull off the wig and look at him. And the looks that you would get. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, so the thing is that in 2016, it is absolutely the choices and stuff that you can get. And I'll go ahead and put the coupon code below again because I don't think it expires. And you can save 10% on the wig. Glitzy Fit. Ooh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Glitzy 50. Glitzy 10. Um, and you can, this is called carry. But they have all kinds of stuff there. And... Uh, I'm hoping that I'll get to try the hair extensions out for when I do a hair extension video, which I have been working on for uh, probably six months now, ordering hair in and comparing it from all kinds of places. So that's my share hair wig story was that I had done this. I had fried off my own hair, needed to have this wig, but it just so happened that I found self-esteem and I mean I felt so beautiful in that wig my hair was okay but I mean the amount of teasing and stuff that I had to do to my hair and, and even after all that it never looked as good as that wig so yeah and I got a lot more attention when I wore the wig so anybody who says that hey you know it's a superficial thing you know it doesn't matter if you have hair or not or whatnot it does to the woman who has no hair, okay? If you have al alopecia or you have chemotherapy and you've lost your hair, you have so many options open to you in this day and age. It's perfectly acceptable today 
to do this. Women do it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and say 50 percent of the population has some sort of hair enhancements in their hair. Rather, that would be clip-in um, hair extensions, a wig, toppers, um, going to the hair salon and having hair extensions actually permanently put in, the hair dreams, uh, all that stuff. I'm gonna go so far as to say that 50% of the female population is running around in some kind of hair that isn't their hair, okay? May not be share hair, but. <laughs> In any case, I hope that this made you feel comfortable, maybe gave you a little bit of a laugh, and a boost your self-esteem and, and get you out there. You can too. Rock long, beautiful hair if you want. Short, sassy hair. You can be a redhead tonight. You can be a blonde tomorrow. You can do whatever you want. You can have blue hair if you want and go to the and not even damage your hair so there's all kinds of things that you can do and mostly I hope that it made some woman out there who has thinning hair and feeling bad about herself um, who has alopecia who has gone through chemotherapy or or whatnot or if you just want to you just want to rock a wig because it's easy you know this is easy uh, my hair was looking pretty ratty it's needing to be washed. I haven't got time. I forgot about something I had to go do. Not a big deal. Just put on the wig and go. <laughs> so if you're not having a blessed day, please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you. See ya. Bye. It's my party and I'll do what I want to, do what I want to, do what I want to. I think I sang this before in a video and it didn't write men either. You can't be like me, 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 to my hair and expecting something bad to not happen. And it's perfectly acceptable. Every, look, look, it's perfectly acceptable. It's acceptable. What's a wink? You gonna start winking now? Look, I got a twitch in my eye. No, it's just me winking at you. I'm flirting. I feel especially sexy with my hair, so I'm going to flirt with you now.